I have some duck breasts here. This is obviously the real McCoy here. These sliced them up in little pieces. This is going to be a very quick stir fry. Let me get a little bit of oil into my hot wok. There's a little peanut grain oil. this way. Cross the grain this way. That'll just go right here. You know, a lot of people tell me that duck meat looks just like liver, and duck meat does kind of look like liver, but if it tastes like liver, you've done something terribly wrong. All right, the meat's going in. This is going to be fast. Meat's in. Soy sauce is in. A little rice vinegar in here. That's the sour part. The sweet part is apricot preserves. Rice vinegar, apricot preserves. That's our sweet and sour flavors. Red bell pepper is going to go in. A little bit of pickled ginger. You can use fresh ginger. This is pickled ginger. Can't find one? Use the other. Healthy squeeze of lime juice on top. You guys know what happens when you overcook your duck, right? Yeah, it does taste like liver. All right, that's just about done there. That is looking so good. All right, wasabi. A couple different ways you can go on wasabi. There's the tube wasabi. Looks like, kind of looks like guacamole. Um, it's a little milder. The color's a little bit more pronounced. It's a little greener. And then there's the dried wasabi powder, which most people see. You just add a little bit of water. All right, wasabi's done. That's done. Let me get in a little bit of green onion. Let me get my wasabi in here. That's going to heat it up. It looks like a lot of wasabi, but it's not. You can always adjust the flavors accordingly. I've got to get that meat out of there because the meat's cooked. We can dump the sauce on it in just a second, but first, the duck has got to go. Because if I cook it too long, it'll be tough and chewy. There's my duck. It's time for the mango. Fresh, chopped mango. So I'm just going to pour this right on top. 